is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. We are live on News 5 in Colorado Springs. Mostly sunny skies across the Pikes Peak region right now. Live from downtown Pueblo. Blue skies, sunshine, nice warm toasty day in the Steel City. And look at that sky over Woodland Park. Lots of blue and sunshine. All right, big weather story. And I think this is going to put a dent in some weekend plans, especially those headed up into the higher elevations. Here's what happens over the weekend. Strong area of low pressure is going to move across the state at the surface. We'll have a moist upslope flow. It'll be cool. It'll be moist. It'll be humid around here. I've got thunderstorms in your forecast both Saturday and Sunday afternoon around here. The lower elevations. Yes, it's all rain shower activity, but there's the key word for the higher elevations. It is going to snow a little unusual. This is an unseasonably strong storm, so let's dig deeper into that snowstorm over the mountains. It'll happen late Saturday into Sunday morning. Prime target, the northern and central mountains. Snow level dropping as low as 9,500 feet. Yes, that's unusual this time of the year. I think we'll see light accumulating snow above 10,000 feet. Of course, some pretty healthy snows across uh, some of the areas up above Timberline, but if you're going to be traveling over Independence Pass, Vail Pass, Rabbit Ears Pass into Monarch Pass, certainly allow yourself some extra travel time because I think we'll see accumulating snow on those high mountain passes. Here we go. Early Sunday morning, the snow starts going to see it expand across the areas of uh, northern central, even in the Lagaritas and San Juans, just a taste of snow. But I think the prime target is going to be the northern and central mountains. Wanted to give you the first alert on that tomorrow. Lots of sunshine for starters by 10 a.m. already in the 70s and 80s across southeastern Colorado. Thunderstorms start to fire up around 2 o'clock across portions of northern El Paso County later in the the afternoon we'll see those thunderstorms back into Teller County right now looks like the prime target for those thunderstorms right along the Palmer Divide northern El Paso County Kiowa County you could get strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow evening that's into Cheyenne County as well so again if that cold front slips a little further south those thunderstorms will push further south but right now all our modeling keeping that stuff north of Highway 50 across El Paso County portions of uh, Kiowa County into Cheyenne County as well and then Saturday here we go take a look at this by mid to late afternoon a line of strong to maybe severe thunderstorms pushing across the viewing area. Large hail possible with some of those stronger storms outside right now. Quiet all across southeastern Colorado, but thunderstorms moving across the northeastern portion of the state, lifting off to the northeast headed for Nebraska. Pueblo high today, 91 degrees out at the airport, two hundredths of an inch of water in Colorado Springs. The high was 85. We should be right around 81 degrees this time of the year outside right now. It is hot across the valley. 90s for Pueblo, La Junta and Lamar in the Springs. Very comfortable right now. Current temperature of 80 degrees. It's going to be a very pleasant night. Mostly clear skies. No wind to deal with. Overnight lows into the 40s and 50s. Afternoon highs tomorrow. One last real warm day here across the southeastern portion of the state. If you're scoring at home, summer officially rolls in at 954 tomorrow morning. Not feeling or looking like summer across the northern mountains in steamboat tomorrow. Welcome to summertime in the Rockies. 45 the afternoon high temperature in Colorado Springs. What a cool down by Sunday. A high temperature of only 61 degrees. PM thunderstorms possible both Saturday and Sunday. Look out for strong, maybe severe thunderstorms on Saturday. I think it'll be too cool, probably too stable for anything severe on Sunday. Then a big time warm up Monday all the way through next Thursday. For Pueblo, here's the menu for that first week into summer. Unseasonably cool both Saturday and Sunday. Strong thunderstorms possible Saturday afternoon, maybe severe thunderstorms in some areas, so you'll need the umbrella if you're going to be checking out the street rods out at the fairgrounds. Then you greet the heat next week. 90s make a huge comeback Tuesday, Wednesday into next Thursday. For Canyon City, it's going to get wet over the weekend. If you're going to be outdoors, always remember when you see lightning or hear thunder, be safe and get indoors. Cooler than average both Saturday and especially on Sunday. And for Woodland Park, an afternoon thunder storm tomorrow. Look at those weekend temps. You'll have no trouble keeping your cool. Sunday will feel more like April, not the first Sunday of summer.